Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and I am an independent consultant with Close to My Heart. It is October and it is time for another subscription Saturday. Today we are going to be working with the Craft with Heart subscription kit. Whether you get the monthly kit, whether you get the four month kit, or whether you get the annual kit, the one that we're going to be working with today is homegrown. So that will be in whatever kit you get. Um, if you have your monthly kit I don't know if you'll have your box yet I'm not quite sure when those ship I personally have the annual box so mine ships once every four months I'd stop and think about that for a second I do have my coffee but it's my second cup you guys are just gonna have to deal with me I've only had one cup we can do this together but if you have your monthly box I don't know if your box is in yet but if it's not you can go ahead and watch this video as usual and just go back and when you get your box play with us again it's really really simple so let me tell you what comes in the box I've already opened my box because again I get the annual box what comes in your box if you have the one month or the four month box is a little card that shows you all of the close to my heart social media how to get all the close to my heart but this card is also can be used in scrapbooking this can be a PML card this can be a title card this can be an accent it can be just whatever you want it to be and then we have the homegrown cut above layout kit so let me move my coffee but not too far oh still hot I gotta wait for it to cool down some I like my coffee what we call drinking temperature where it doesn't burn my lips so in order to make this kit you will need your adhesive and possibly a pair of scissors if you work the way I do I don't know why my pins out so let's open this kit Okay, so put the page protectors aside. And the first thing I want to do, because I made this mistake last time, is I need to figure out this is. This is a saying that it's layout one. And this family time is saying this. Okay, so the, this is actually correct. So this is layout one. And this is layout two. Okay, let's try this again. I had to put a new refill in my pen. Okay, so if you did the September subscription kit with me, they had these reversed. Layout 2 was on the front, and layout 1 was on the back, and it really screwed me up. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on my cork board. And I'm going to, the very first thing that I do is I cut out which one goes with which. So I separate layout 1 versus layout 2. And this just makes it easier for me to make piles of, okay, this layout, or this sticker goes with layout one, this sticker goes with layout two, and I keep everything more organized for me. If you don't need this step, you do not have to do this step. So layout one, no, let's do layout one here, layout two here, okay. Layout one die cuts, layout two die cuts. Now I also do not separate anything until I'm about to do the layout because I personally have a habit of dropping everything off my desk. I sit on a bar stool to scrap, and if I drop it, then I have to get off my bar stool. Okay, so for this first one, we need. Well, let's do it this way. Hold on. So these are the card. These are the page bases. So I'm going to set this aside because this is layout two. I'm going to start making my piles. So 
this is layout one and layout two I believe these are going to be on layout two layout two layout one and I believe layout two let me double check Yes. Okay. Perfect. We got it right this time. So four by six, four by six, three by four, three by four, and four by six, three by four, three by four. Okay, we got it. All right. So those go there. Now, if you look, there's really no major instructions. It's really just look at the picture so that is what we are going to do so set those aside real fast set that aside real fast so they want this one here and this one like this put those out of my way so that's what your base is going to look like but I'm going to temporarily Nope, I'm sorry. There we go. That's what the base is going to look like. I had it upside down. So I'm going to temporarily move this one aside. Screw this one over. And I need this window. It's going to go right here. I need this sticker. It's going to go right here. And then I need this sticker, and it's going to go directly underneath it. Okay, so this is going to go right there. Like that, okay. So here's my adhesive. This is just regular combo adhesive. Okay, so next we need the butterfly die cuts. So the big one is going to go about like that. And before I place the others, I'm going to place my words. trick today is going to be not getting trash in my coffee. And you think that's funny, but it happens. I was sitting here, oh, a couple of months ago, just scrapping my little heart out and things, okay, and did not realize that I was putting the trash in my coffee until I looked over and there was thread floating in my coffee. 
Needless to say, we had to stop production because you can't have thread floating in your coffee. Makes for a bad day. And then we're going to put this guy over here. And this guy over here. I'm going to just really quickly, just to get this out of my way, trim this guy down. And is there anything else on this page? There is not, so now we can move over to page two. I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful since my coffee is sitting on the table of where I put my layouts. We're going to separate this one. We're going to make sure we have the base page going the correct direction. And we do. Okay, so that's going to go there. Gonna go there. Four by six. Four by six. So that's gonna go down some. And four by six. Okay. Or three by four. Sorry, I say wrong measurements when I'm just laying things out. Watch what I'm doing. Don't listen to what's coming out of my mouth because it doesn't always match. This is the journaling card. You can hand journal, which is the optimal way of doing it, but sometimes you can't, like I can't hand journal because my daughter can't read handwriting. Um, or you can journal on vellum and attach it on this card or, okay, I wanted to make sure and not have the adhesive on the entire die cut. Okay, so I want to try, show you a trick. And I just learned this trick. So this is the anti-static powder for embossing. It just comes in a little tool. You can also do this with baby powder and a dry paintbrush. But this sticker needs to be partially over where the photo is going to be. But I don't want the entire sticker sticky. So what I'm going to do is kind of measure what I want and go okay I want it on that side and then and it will take the sticky off one side. So now it's not sticky. There are little hairs on it. There we go. So now it's not sticky on one side. And then this is just half a Swiffer. I'm just going to wipe it real fast. So now when I stick the sticker like this, in theory, oops, there we go. So now when I stick the sticker like this, it will, I can still put the photo under later. It's only sticky on one side. Love that trick. And again, if you don't have this, just a little bit of baby powder and a dry paintbrush. And then the other sticker is going to be... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want it right there. But 
the amount that I would have to put on this poor little sticker to not make it sticky for this photo because I don't have photos yet it wouldn't be a sticker anymore so I think what I may do is put him up here just on my layout so, okay so let me show you because that's it so for layout one this is layout one page one and page two and side by side so let's move on to layout two coffee is good coffee is good okay so I'm gonna set the photo squares outside and we're gonna just kind of set everything There it is, but I knew I saw two of them. Set everything there, and then here's our stickers. And how do they want these? They want these like this. So I'm going to temporarily put this one aside, and then we need four by six, and then these go on this side. This goes on that side. This goes on this side, this goes on that side, this goes on this side, and then stickers. Okay. So. There we go, four by six. Six, or three by four, three by four. Bring this over some. Now I'm dry laying it out just for a moment because I need to make sure that I've got these right. Okay. Okay, so let's put these down really fast. If you have photos, you do not have to use these photo placement cards. These are just for people like me that are putting these together and don't have our photos just yet. If you have your photos ready to go, then these layouts will be totally finished for you at the end of playtime. Pardon my head. Sometimes I have to get my head in the screen to see where I'm placing things. But how cool is it that you will have two layouts finished in under 30 minutes? So if you've got toddlers, you can get two layouts finished during nap time. Put a load of laundry in, start your dishwasher. Oh, look at that. Look how gorgeous that sticker is. And while your babies are sleeping, you can get a couple layouts done. going to be this one. And I need this one. So he's going to go right here. And then you're going to go, if I can pick you up, you're going to go right there. Now remember, I didn't put sticky on this side so I can still get my photo in. So if you look, my photo can still get underneath there. And then there's supposed to be some hearts. Where are the hearts? There they are. Guys, the hearts match the sticker sheet really closely. So you may have to just look for them. So this side is finished. Let's scoop to the next.
Okay, so we have this card, and then three by four, three by four, and this card. Pardon the lawnmower outside. Did I click? Yes, that's correct. I was hoping that if I got started early I could beat the lawnmowers, but evidently that is not the case. Okay, so they want the thicker one on this side and the thinner one on this side. Okay, I stopped the camera for a second because he was directly under my window. And rather than have to edit all that out, it was just easier to stop. So we have the thicker side of the this one and now we've got the thinner and I would tell you what colors these are but I haven't had enough coffee today and I can't remember so there we go and then we've got this here that goes there and then this one goes beside it like that and then this one goes over here like that and then this one goes don't throw this away yet because we still we're still using it like that and then this one so this guy is going to go like this so I'm only going to put adhesive on one side so I can still get my photo under it And then this guy is going to go here. Again, only going to put adhesive on one side. The good thing about this Tombow is if you get a little bit on your paper, just rub. It comes right off. And then we have some hearts. And there's one over here, and one right there. Now, unless I'm missing something, we have a wooden heart that's left over, and some flowers that are left over. So I'm not sure if those are just extras, if you want to embellish a little bit more or if I'm missing something, but I don't see them. That says layout two. This is layout one, I don't see any flowers or wooden hearts. Okay, just making sure, but as you can see, this heart is this heart right there, and I don't see any other flowers, so we're good. So what you could do is you could actually take this heart, pop it up on a little pop dot, and put it over this one and do a shadow effect if you want to. And then you can scatter a few more flowers around. They're giving you a little bit extra. So let's. So this is layout two, 
side one, layout two, side two, layout one, side one, layout one, side two, layout two, side one, and layout two, side two. Thank you for spending your Saturday morning with me. I hope that you are finding that this is a faster, simpler, easier way to get your scrapbooking done. 30 minutes or less, you get a couple of layouts completely finished. You can do this while you've got the dishwasher going, while your toddlers are sleeping, 30 minutes before bedtime, whatever works for you. This is just another way that close to my heart is making scrapbooking easier for you. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.